What's up Wolfpack, Cole Gregg here out of Duthie Hill Mountain Bike Park to give you the rundown on the Bluegrass Legit DH helmet. Here she is. Comes in this awesome little bag. So inside the helmet bag, pretty simple, straightforward. One single pouch here. I usually keep some sort of goggle wipe in there, nothing too fancy, maybe a bar. Other than that, straightforward. Nice handle, a little over the shoulder thing. And on to the, uh, the part you all wanna see, the helmet itself. This helmet comes in at 1,082 grams, which is remarkably light for a helmet of this stature. When talking about safety features, this helmet comes equipped with MIPS, injected PU molded foam, which goes above and beyond all standards we see in the US today. Couple cool features about this helmet is all the internal pads are removable and includes cheek pads, even the chin strap, as well as the, the main pad in the top. This allows you to keep stuff smelling oh so clean. Uh, I'm one to talk, I am horrible about cleaning my helmet, so it's definitely a little added bonus. I don't have to really stress over, oh, I gotta you know work to get all this stuff out. When it comes to ventilation, this helmet has your back with a total of 15 vents. We have three here on the nose cone, three above the brow, one larger upper in the center, two even bigger ones here on the back, as well as these two nice little exhaust ports down here below. So what are some of the negatives you ask? Well, for me, they're, they're trade-offs, okay? There's not really big negatives about this helmet. The visor is not adjustable. It does pop in and out if you need to take it off to clean it. It is what it is. You can't tilt it back or throw your goggles in the front, which that drives me crazy when people do that. So for me, not a factor. Uh, one of the other things is it does have the classic D-ring style locking mechanism. It's not a fit lock, it's not a buckle. Again, compromise. I personally enjoy D-rings. They've been tried and true since what, like the 70s in motocross when they came out. Probably earlier than that, I have no idea. Can't go wrong, kind of base, base of the story there. So as far as sizes go, Bluegrass did a great job offering extra small through extra large with two centimeter increments per size. So this medium helmet for me fits like a true medium. It's none of the, like the, oh, it's a small medium, it's a medium large. It takes the guesswork out of it. You have two centimeter increments. So if you're right on the cusp of a large, you can go down to a medium. If you're right on the cusp of a medium, you can kind of go up to a large and it's not gonna be a huge difference. So a little backstory on how I came to have this helmet. I was over in Morazine last summer to spend four weeks riding the bike parks, bike parks, plural, you know, it's, there's many out there. I came with my switchblade, which I'd been using back home for trail riding and the occasional shuttles. Never actually put the, the chin bar on. And after a day of riding that chin bar, the added weight of the chin bar was pulling the helmet down, forcing the goggles into my nose and causing me not to be able to breathe. And after, well, I think that day was like 10,000 feet of descent got to the point where it was in the back of my mind. I didn't want to think about it. So checked out a few shops and ended up with this helmet purely for the fact that when I got it to right here, I knew I was home and just, oh, it fits so good. Like the best way to describe it is a cloud that will save your life. That's, that's pretty much <laughs> the way I can put it until you actually get this helmet on. Um, there's, there's no comparison in comfort for my face shape. The TLD helmets that I tried on actually ended up hurting my ears and not being comfortable and it was worth the extra 100 bucks to go with the Bluegrass. So one of the things you might be wondering is what does this helmet cost? So when I purchased this helmet at, uh, what was it? It was in Leger at one of the bike shops. I think it was the Norco shop there in town. It's 490 euro. So it's not cheap. Right now you can find it for about 450 euro. In the States, it's gonna be a lot harder to come by, but if you're if you're in Europe or the UK, I know Bluegrass, their distributors over there do a lot better job at getting product out. It's just not a brand you often see here in the States. I don't know why. It's, it's a helmet that I've looked forward to riding in. It's not something, oh, you dread putting it on because it's heavy or it's uncomfortable. It ticks, I mean, 10 out of 10 as far as fit, finish, daily use. A um, couple of the downsides, like I mentioned before, that the visor is not movable. You have a D-ring locking mechanism, which that's not your thing. Sorry, that's, all, that's what you get. Um, other than that, I mean, it is white. So any mountain bike products that you wanna keep clean that are white is a little difficult. So over the year, about the year that I've had it, uh, it's starting to get a little bit of a yellow tint to it. I don't know if that's dirt um, that's just been worn in or if it's actually from sun exposure. But overall from that like 10 foot mark, it looks great. Um, and for me to keep something somewhat white through a whole season of riding is awesome. To kind of tie everything together, if you're looking for a helmet to spend days and days in the bike park, the occasional enduro pedal, I'd say look no further than the Bluegrass Legit. 
For me, it ticks all the boxes. It's 10 out of 10 in fit, finish, feel, safety. I mean, thankfully I haven't had to test how safe it is yet, but overall, I would say it is well, well worth the investment. For me personally, when I look at mountain bike gear and where I wanna save money, helmet is literally last on the list. So keep that in mind when you're searching for new helmets. It's great you can get a bargain on something, but the noggin is the only thing we can't fix. Doctors can screw together a collarbone, fix a finger, it doesn't matter, your brain is important. For more information on this helmet, please check out the article on thelonewolf.com. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.